Hola everybody and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. I love to share inspiration for DIYs, home decor, travel, food, fashion, and beauty all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, keep on watching. Today's project is a bamboo skewer tray, so let's get started. All you're gonna need is a cookie pan, and I spray painted mine white. You'll need some bamboo skewers that I also got from Dollar Tree. These I stained with some stain I already had at home. I got the really long ones, but you can get the smaller ones because we're gonna be cutting them down anyway. You'll also need a glue gun and some glue sticks. I don't know if the glue is going to really hold the bamboo skewers like I want to, but we're gonna try it. The first step is to spray paint your pan, whatever color you want. I chose white. I have this fast dry all purpose interior exterior spray paint in white. And I have this cookie pan from Dollar Tree and it was a dollar. I'm just gonna take off this and spray paint it white. Y'all, this is the project that I started yesterday, but it started to rain, so I had to stop spray painting. Let's see if I can't just get a couple coats on here that are even, and then we'll go from there. Here's the tray. A bug did get on it right there, but that's okay because the bamboo skewers are gonna cover it up anyway. Also to stain or paint the sticks if you want to. You can leave them the natural bamboo color. It's totally fine. It's up to you. It's gotta match your decor, not mine. I'm gonna be using these bamboo skewers for the tray project that I'm doing and I'm gonna be staining them with this wood finish in dark walnut. Here are the skewers. They've all been stained and they're not a uniform color and I'm totally okay with that, but I will cut these down and put them in the tray. You'll also need this miter box or some way to cut the bamboo skewers. I bought this several months back, but I actually have never used it, so this will be the first project I'm using it on. When you go to cut the bamboo, you can either cut it so that it goes long ways, or it goes this way. Totally up to you and just your preference on how you want the tray to look. I bought the longer ones because I did want to go the longer route. So to measure it, I'm just tucking this in here, trying to get it corner to corner and then trying to eyeball it a little bit. I'm just placing one of the bamboo skewers in the tray and then I'm gonna try to eyeball where it needs to go, needs to be cut. And then I'm gonna cut just a little bit on the far side of it. So in case I'm a tad short, I can just, I, can, I have a little bit of wiggle room basically. But if I cut too short, obviously that's gonna leave some space in the tray and that's not really what I want either. It's kind of hard to get it because these corners are rounded. They're just not like squared off. So we're gonna see how this is gonna look. I made a mark right here to indicate where I'm gonna try to cut. Some of the bamboo skewers were a little bit longer. I didn't cut them short enough. If I need them, then we'll bring those guys back in and cut them up, uh, cut them off a little bit. But we're just gonna start by gluing. And I'm gonna kind of make sure that it is fitting. And let's we'll see how this is gonna work. See, I need a little bit shorter one for this corner piece, but just let's just try, see what happens. Well, I don't know how I should do this. Maybe a little dab will do you right here, and a little dab will do you right here. See how this works. One of my friends suggested using E6000. I'm not a super big fan of E6000, to be honest, but gotta do what I gotta do if this doesn't work. Oh, and you couldn't even see what I did. Okay, so I just put a little dab here and a little dab here, pressing it down. I'm gonna go ahead and put another stick in. Again, just making sure, it, see, I don't know that it's gonna fit, y'all trying to show you how to do this and it's already becoming a, oh, and it got stuck. Great. Well, let's kind of reset. Some of these, these skewers are not exactly cut off at the exact height that they need to be cut off at. That's my bad. But I'm just gonna still try to plow ahead and make it work. I'm just putting little dabs of glue and hoping for the best. Tucking that right in there, tucking that in there, 
pressing down. And then I'm just holding it for a few seconds, waiting for it to kind of stick and adhere. If it does not, I will use E6000. Not really a super big fan of E6000, but you know, gotta do what we gotta do. And I'll clean up some of this excess glue a little bit later. So I don't really like it when it's all messy like that. We're gonna try to see if we can't just fill this up really quick. glued everything down and yes there's a little bit of a gap there you're not really going to see that but I don't think that this is going to hold like I was hoping I think you're just going to be able to pop it out not that anybody's going to be trying to pop it out but if they did it would just pop out I also don't know if I need to like finish off the edge with either some twine or like another stick and I deciding on that and you can see the glue here which I'm not happy about either I was hoping that this would turn out just like a little bit more clean looking but I was going to town with that hot glue and so it really just I may just have to cover that up with something but um, let me see if I have any I don't know if twine will look good though I found some twine but I don't think that it's gonna be what I want because I was going to put it here and just to kind of cover up some of this gap in the corner and then run it around like this but I'm not sure not digging it I'm just gonna be honest I'm not digging it so I think I'm gonna go with my original plan but leave me a comment in the comments below and let me know, do you think I should go back and fix it with some twine like this? It's just a different color. If I painted it white, I wonder if I would feel differently about how it looks. See, like I don't even know where to start it. But if I glued it down here and just went around, I didn't want it to look too nautically, you know? Like I'm not trying to make it look like something that's gonna go on a ship. This is actually gonna go out on my patio. I thought it would look cute out there with some drinky drinks on it, but this is not level. So I'm not sure about putting drinky drinks on it anyway. So let me think about it. I think if I paint it, I'll feel a little bit better about how it looks. See, and that would cover up some of the edges. I still have way too much glue right there, but I'm actually kind of okay with it. I think I am going to put the twine, jute rope, whatever this is, around the edges, but I do need to clean it up, so I'll have to get a lighter and kind of clean up some of these edges here, and then I'm gonna paint it white to see if it holds paint, and if it does, then we'll be able to finish up this project. My idea for painting this little piece of rope, cord, jute, whatever, twine, whatever you wanna call it, whatever it is, the idea to paint it, I was thinking to just use like a paintbrush and kind of paint it. And I thought, well, that, I don't know how that's gonna work. So then I thought, well, what if I put it in like this, like a bag, a little baggie, put a little bit of paint inside, and then just kind of like, you know, like jizz it around like that, and then just put it on some wax paper to dry. I've got my wax paper set out for the drying process now. I'm gonna pop the old rope in here. Cord, jute, I don't know what you call it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. I'll squeeze a somewhat generous amount in there. I don't know. I'm just making this as, as I go. See, I just wanna kind of coat it like that, and then I'm not getting my hands all dirty. But yet I'm coating the Coated. It's kind of working. It's not going to be an even coat, that's for sure. Painting techniques by Lisa from Our Gray House. <laughs> okay. I mean, it got coated. Sort of. Pretty much. I don't want it to be wound together, so I'm trying to unwind it. 
because I don't want it to dry together and then me have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I'll just kind of spread it. It got sort of coated. Didn't really work, but you know what? We wouldn't have known until we tried. I'm gonna add just a little bit more in a couple spots and just kind of fill in a little bit. And then I'm gonna just call it a day for this one. Not worried about it too much because I can go back and add some paint later if I need to. Um, just trying to get a couple bare spots where I can see it. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna attach it to the tray. Last night I went ahead and added the little rope to here. I just hot glued it around. The only part I'm not super happy with is this corner, but that's gonna be okay. This is my first attempt at this project, so. Thank y'all so much for watching. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I sprinkle some in between. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna follow me on Instagram or YouTube, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.